All right, music fans, welcome back. Harmless Dave here talking about real music and uh, real news and doing it in real time for I don't know how many real people out there just like you and just like me. The algorithm, not my friend. So if you'd like to become a patron, I've had some great conversations recently with patrons, thoughtful, intelligent conversations about music and politics and uh, faith. Okay, these are things that are important to me. And so if you'd like to become a patron and you want to have a chat, you know, back and forth, uh, I do it for the most part, 24 hours a day. I try to sleep, um, but I'll wake up in the morning, grab the phone and I'll be like, oh, so-and-so sent me a reply. And um, I'm usually pretty good about answering the replies. Um, so yeah, Patreon, YouTube memberships, if you'd like to sort of be anonymous um, and do it through YouTube memberships. That's a cool thing. And buy me a coffee. If you want to send me a message that way, I really enjoy getting those coffees in my email and saying someone bought me a coffee. So I got this T-shirt on. Uh, it is the Altered Five Blues Band. And uh, they dropped a song a few months ago called Whiskey Got Me Married. You've got to hear this guy, Jeff Taylor, sing. He's the lead singer of this um, band called the Altered Five Blues Band. Uh, if you're really a traditional blues person, you'll enjoy it. If you're more into contemporary blues, um, I think up and down, you're just going to really enjoy the Altered Five Blues Band. I love the name of the group. And so much so, I bought the shirt. And you know me, I buy a lot of shirts Instead of going to concerts, I buy T-shirts, all right? So in the old days, I used to go to concerts and buy the T-shirts because I could afford to. Now I can only afford to buy shirts. So there you know, that's the reason. I'm going to put that out there, and I'm going to say, well, I can, and it's hard to afford shirts now, okay, compared to, you know, the $10 shirts or the $8 shirts I bought back in the day. So I saw this story, and, you know, based on what happened this weekend, here it is. Rock. I think they do this to to like punk me or troll me, whatever the term is. Rock stars react to Donald Trump assassination attempt. Now, um, before I get into the words assassination attempt, um, there were several publications that said things like uh, there was a shooting at a Donald Trump rally. There was a shooting. Okay. Shots fired at Trump rally. Trump okay. Something to that nature. And I'm like, huh, that kind of seems like fake news to me. Or um, omitting some important information. Now, again, people who've followed me know that I have issues with Donald Trump. But I haven't changed my perspective when it comes to what the media does every single day. So rock stars react to Trump assassination attempt. <laughs> How many rock stars reacted? Well, um, uh, the story goes kind of like this. Uh, Trump was shot in the ear while delivering a speech. So it's just it, they they aimed for his head, right? <clears throat> this is the truth here. They they aimed for his head and he turned his head slightly. Some say divinely, right? Just I'm not, you know, just just saying I'm not one of those people that thinks, you know, Trump is Jesus or anything like this, but Trump turned his head just a little bit at the right moment, and the bullet, which should have went into the back of his head, wound up grazing his ear. All right? And he was pretty bloody. That's a bullet traveling at a fairly high rate of speed. So here it is. Trump was shot in the ear while delivering a speech in Butler, Pennsylvania. Just a campaign event, right? Small little rally of a few thousand people. Uh, Thomas Matthew Crooks, a 20-year-old kitchen worker from Bethel Park, is alleged to have opened fire on the former president from a uh, nearby rooftop. Nobody seems to know how and why he was able to get onto this roof, but I digress. Uh, Crooks killed one person and wounded two others before the Secret Service uh, finally returned fire. Uh, okay, so Trump was swarmed by Secret Service. Okay, so the rock stars. Let's get to the rock stars. Finally, 
So the shooting of former President Trump is an awful example of the state of our country. This, according to Paul Stanley from KISS, all right? Nobody has the right to use violence to further their beliefs. Democracy depends on elections to determine the will of the people. Uh, he says here, wishing him a speedy recovery and a prayer for the lives lost. D. Snyder from Twisted Sister. You know, D. Snyder surprises me a lot. He was horrible, horrible during the lockdowns. Horrible. Absolutely one of the worst human beings. I'm sorry, D. I'm going to keep saying it. You want to come on and have a talk about it? Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. You and I, man to man, will have a talk about how you and Sebastian Bach and pretty much the entire rock media okay, went the wrong way on that, and nobody has come to their senses. Well, a few people have. Sammy Hagar came out and said, shouldn't have done that, shouldn't have done that, but he wanted to play concerts. Anyway, D, uh, this one was better. He says, it is just effing awful what happened yesterday. Disagree with the other party as much as you want, Never raise a hand toward them. Respect their right to believe something different than you do. And I got to give D credit also uh, when it comes to the um, girls becoming boys or boys becoming girls. Uh, he pretty much stood up to that, too. Of course, Ted Nugent went ballistic, as you would expect Uncle Ted to do, declared uh, that patriotic blood boils like never before in support of this great man. Kid Rock uh, said, you bleep with Trump, you bleep with me. Then shared a link to a fundraising campaign for other victims of the shooting. That's really a good idea. Um, the gentleman who lost his life uh, shielding his kids uh, was a hero. All right, just an absolute hero. And uh, you should... Go fund that man's uh, family. Uh, his family, I, I'm going to get choked up, but his his family was talking about, you know, how their how their dad was a hero. Yeah. All right. So it's not easy to do this, folks. Yeah, it's not easy to do this, but that's that's a good dad, right? That is a a good dad who um, instinctively protected their kids from a madman. So that's it, though, as far as the rock stars. That's it. So you had four of them. You had four. So they they, they found four. Uh, D. Snyder. So I'm going to give these guys credit. Paul Stanley, D. Snyder, Kid Rock, and Ted Nugent. Ted Nugent's not a surprise. The other three guys um, at least recognized. And Kid Rock is really not a surprise either. But the other two guys, at least they've decided, hey, we're, we're not with the crazy people, all right? We're, we might be more down the middle. And I'm talking about Paul and, and D. Um, so there you have it. Uh, th look, we, we need some unity in the country. We need to dial down the rhetoric. Um, they say this, by the way, when something happens, they always say, you know, the rhetoric is too hot. Usually it happens against people that the media establishment loves, right? A certain nightclub gets bombed or shot up, and it's the people who disapprove of maybe something that is going on with uh, a certain group of people. I'm being very vague on purpose here. And if you have a disagreement, a peaceful disagreement, right? Supposedly that peaceful disagreement um, is still a problem, that you're not allowed to disagree at all. Paul Stanley and D. Snyder uh, have eloquently said here uh, that, yes, peaceful disagreement is a good thing, but violence is not a good thing. Violence should be condemned uh, across the board. There's a highlight reel, though, that you can probably go find on X or maybe here on YouTube, where... One person after another, people in government are basically saying that Trump is Hitler and that um, a lot of things should happen to Trump supporters. 
and it's beyond just rhetoric. It's like, again, the whole yelling fire in a crowded theater thing. So uh, that that's unacceptable. And I'm not into banning things because I deal with censorship here. I deal with an algorithm that isn't my friend, as I like to say. Um, I'm not into shadow banning um, certain statements, but um, that's very provocative. And it's allowed to go out there. And it's allowed to permeate the culture. And this person who is likely uh, not stable, uh, my guess is he was probably on some type of psychotropic substance or he's just mentally disturbed individual, you know, registered Republican. So that doesn't fit the narrative necessarily, but he did give money to Democrats. So that might fit the narrative better. The point is, is that this is just a troubled person. And I think people have to understand that we do have a mental health crisis in this country uh, RFK Jr., he's a guy out there talking about this. Whoever becomes the president, right, needs to have a task force on mental health issues in this country. And stop blaming the guns. I know everybody's going to call for gun control now. I mean, the people that support Trump are for these types of guns. And see, you know, the chickens have come home to roost. Thank God Paul Stanley didn't say it was the gun. D. Snyder didn't say it was the gun. So good for them for just being normal for a few seconds. Um, I wish they'd go back to um, 2021 and 2020 and and maybe delete or revise some of the comments that they made back then because it's still out there and it's still despicable. But uh, I give them credit today for saying the right things. Um, I feel kind of lonely doing this stuff sometimes. Because number one, I'm supposed to just talk about music and how bad it is, how good it is, uh, who can still sing, who can't. And the genre that I appreciate the most, the people I grew up listening to the most, most of them really stink right now. They, they just, they're not very good. They've aged and they can't do what they once did. And I know I'm throwing a lot of shade at this entire group of people, but at some point you need to retire. So... I either talk about how bad you are <laughs> continuing on or I try to say, you know what, it's it's okay for what it is and I don't want to hurt the industry and I want to help sell tickets because there's some merch person who makes 20 bucks an hour for a few hours and they're there doing you know, the Lord's work, selling t-shirts and whatnot. So I don't want to hurt anyone's revenue stream, but this is why we needed another wave of classic rock. We needed yet another, you know, like in 2015, there should have been another wave of classic rock that hit the shoreline, whether it's from here or from the UK. We should have seen revival in the rock world. But instead, we got the same sound we had in 1997. So that's why we are where we're at, and that's why I tend to talk about other things on this channel because it's boring. The music world is boring, except the Altered Five Blues Band. Check out their latest single. It's fantastic. Um, the singer Jeff Taylor is just, will blow your socks off. Whiskey Got Me Married. <laughs> I love the blues, man. I do. All right. Thanks for watching. God bless everyone. Pray for our current president. Pray for the former president, the RNC convention is this week. Pray that um, people are safe in that venue and that there are no more of these uh, occurrences. And um, just pray for peace around the world. And in your own heart, remember Jesus is the only way, folks. He's it. He's the way. He said so himself. So that's how I know it's true.